So in our previous Venn diagrams, uh, we had two sets, and so therefore we had two circles. And now we're going to look at Venn diagrams where we have three sets, so therefore we would have uh, three circles. So we're not doing anything with numbers in this video. Uh, we're just going to look at each section of the Venn diagram and get an idea of what each section represents. So let's say that the topic is what social media platform do you use regularly? And say the choices um, are uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. So if we think about the different um, areas, right, you can see that the Venn diagram is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different areas. Oh, oops, there's eight areas. Sorry, I counted the outside twice. So let's erase one of these. So we have these eight different areas and we wanna talk about what each one represents. Let me erase those marks. All right, so let me do a little shading. So for example, let's say that I shaded this portion right here. So if I shade this portion right here, I want you to think about, this is where all three circles overlap. So how would you describe the people that would be in this area? Right, so these would be the people that use all three. Right, so they use all three. Okay, so they use all three of those platforms. All right, so now let's color, let's say I color this, oops, let me get the highlighter and erase that. Okay, so let's shade this, this section here. All right, and as I'm shading this, look at, uh, there is some overlap of two circles. So which two circles are overlapping here? So you notice it's the Facebook and the Instagram overlapping, but it doesn't overlap with the Twitter. So if I were to describe uh, these people, they use Facebook and Instagram, but they don't use what? So they use a Facebook and Instagram, but not Twitter. All right, so that's these people. All right, so let's look at another section. How about uh, this section? Yeah, this will work. All right, well, it didn't get much better, did it? It's a little better. All right, so these people in this section right here, so what two circles are overlapping? Okay, that's Twitter and Instagram, but notice it's not overlapping with Facebook. So how would you describe the people in this area? They use what? Right, they use... Um, Twitter, and they use uh, Instagram, but they don't use Facebook. All right, good, okay. And let's see, how about All right, so how about, let's do this section here. All right, I'm gonna color here. So what do you see, what's overlapping there? Which two circles are overlapping? We have Facebook and Twitter, right? But notice that it doesn't use um, Facebook and Twitter. I'm sorry, it uses Facebook and Twitter, but it doesn't use Instagram, right? So if we describe those people here, it's going to be um, they use Facebook, they use Twitter, and not Instagram. 
All right. Okay, so let's see. Let's do another one. Get another color. And how about over here? I'm going to color this. All right, I'm kind of enjoying the coloring here. It's a, it's a very meditative experience. So in the so this is Instagram. It's part of the Instagram circle, but let's describe these people specifically. If they're in this blue area, there's something we know about them. There's actually a few things that we know about them. Okay, so we know that they use. This means they use. Instagram, but what else do they use? Anything? Now we call this. I call. I like. I like to call this the only space. They only. This means they only use Instagram. They don't use the other two, right? Because it's not overlapping with the other two circles. All right. So now, how about this area? Okay. So what can you say about these people? systems do they use? All right, so you can see they're in the Twitter area and they're not in any other areas so therefore they use Twitter. Okay, do they use anything else? We said that this would be called the only area, right? They only use Twitter, right? Or they use Twitter only, they don't use the other ones. This one. All right, so now I'm going to color this. And so describe these two, these people to me. If they're in this portion of the circle, they use what? And be specific. All right, so you should come up with they only use Facebook, right? So only use Facebook. All right, and then what about uh, the people out here? I'm not going to shade out here, but what about these people out here? What do they? What do we know about them? So they don't use any of those three, right? So don't use any of these. Okay, so this becomes important because in the in the next video and for your homework, you're going to be filling in the numbers like you did with the two Venn diagrams. And so you really have to understand which area like corresponds to to what. So for example, if I said like 21 people use all three uh, of those, right? If I said that, then you would know that 21 goes here. If I said 21 use all three. Uh, again, we're not doing the numbers, but just for example. Okay. Um, but if I said that, for example, let's say that I said 40 people. One second, I get a color. Okay, so if I said 40 people used um, Twitter and Facebook. Okay, so what's tempting when we see that, when we see 40 people use Twitter and Facebook, uh, is to put the 40 here. Can you see that? Uh, let me put a different color. So what people want to do is to put the 40 here, right, because that's the Facebook and Twitter area. But that's actually not correct because when they are talking about Twitter and Facebook, if you think about the section of where the two overlap, where do Facebook and Twitter overlap? Right. So they overlap in this entire area right here. Right. So that's where Facebook and Twitter overlap. So the 40 has to go, like it has to be divided. Some is going to go into this section here and some is going to go into this section here. And you don't know how much, 
um, you would have to know how many people use all three, right? Um, versus how many people just use Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so that's something that can get a little confusing in the wording, but when we say 40 people use Twitter and Facebook, that's talking about the entire overlap here. Okay, if I said uh, 40 people use Twitter and Facebook but not Instagram, then we'd be okay putting the 40 in this portion. Okay. So this video is just to help you understand what the different sections mean, and then that should make the next video a little bit more clear where you're actually going to put numbers into the different uh, categories.